program called RVs for MDs is providing a home away from home for doctors and nurses who want to protect their families right now. As Nick Emmon shows us, a local couple came to the rescue when an operating room nurse put out the call for help. I come up in here. This is the new normal for Nicole Reeves. I come right up here. Each day, she comes home and isolates herself from her family so they don't get sick if she were to bring coronavirus home from the hospital. I get all the germs off of me. It's a concern for many frontline workers, especially Nicole, an operating room nurse whose fiance has a weakened immune system. We have, as a family, have been trying to figure out what we should do, um, honestly, since the beginning of March. Initially, Nicole thought she'd stay at her parents' house in Lancaster, but then her mom developed a cough. Thankfully, it wasn't coronavirus, but it was a wake up call. I was laying in bed just saying, I can't, there's no way I can keep coming home. If I end up getting one of my parents sick, I. It's, that's not really an option for me. Ultimately, we made the decision um, to start looking into renting an RV. But she was getting quotes upwards of $5,000 a month. And I was like, I can't afford that and my mortgage. So she turned to Facebook after hearing about a group called RVs for MDs. It pairs RV owners with people in the medical field looking for a safe place to stay away from their families during this crisis. I posted on the site and I think it was less than 12 hours later I got a message. It was Gail and Luciano who offered up their RV and parked it in front of Nicole's parents house. It's absolutely beautiful. And free, not to mention convenient. So my mom has been making all of my meals for me. Um, she drops them off on the doorstep and she knocks so that I know that they're there. It's a home not too far away from home, and it's all thanks to complete strangers. Work is stressful enough, but then going home by yourself, that's a whole nother ball game. So this is really um, a pretty amazing experience. I'm really, really grateful. Nick Emmons, WBZ News.